Hey guys, Kalif here, and today we have a very simple data pack that lets you get the time that your computer has, which is why it's called my time, because it's the time of the system or whatever you're on. Sometimes they're on a server, so it won't be your computer, but the server that you're on's time. Um, but anyways, it's very simple. You just play a function and uh, my time colon get time, and it will load the time on the sidebar, just as you can see there with uh, minutes, hours, and seconds on the my time scoreboard. Um, now, according to my system, it says 940 because I haven't updated the data pack yet. So we're going to go over downloading it, how to use it, and a little bit about how it works. So first, let's go about downloading it. So you have to get the zip file that you have and download the zip file and drag it into the world save. There you go. Uh, now it's 532 kilobytes. Granted, the actual size is something like I don't know it's maybe 330 megabytes so the compression did some magic for me um, but now let's go back into the game and I'll full screen it uh, you can see my toolbar right now just because I want to show you the time that my computer says so we're gonna type reload and again it's about 30 megabytes so it might take a little bit of time to uh, close it all down, refresh the data pack because it actually has a very big loot table. And there you go. So it loaded data pack, my time installed. You can hover, it says what it is, obtain your computer's real time. Are you running a spigot and bucket server? So you click yes or no. In this case, we're not, so we'll hit no. If you're on a spigot or bucket server and wanna use this, you have to click yes. And I'll explain that later in the explanation. Uh, but that aside, you're good to go. So now if I play function, my time get time you're going to see on the sidebar hour nine minutes four, 41 seconds 58 and you can see right now um i mean now it says 42 but if i click it it'll say 42. um but yeah so it updates to get your exact computer's time uh and that's it that's that's how you can use this thing and you can just you know do stuff based on those scores or maybe you just want to display it or maybe like at a certain time of time you want to reset all of your commands um, now how it works, it's pretty simple. Uh, so if I type help, help or any command really, but I'll just do help because it's uh, a lot, the output is very short. So if I type, type help, help in here and I enable output, then I power this guy and activate it. Uh, or really, I guess I could do repeating and uh, turn it on. It'll say 94242 slash help command. Okay. So it'll tell me the time, but then it also tells me this extraneous stuff. So we can't really just grab the time here and throw it on really easily. So we have to do something. So let's do data get block and we get the data of this block. You can see this last output is where the time is stored, but it's got all this extra text. So you really can't do anything about this. You can't split it up. You can't mess with this stuff. So what you have to do is, and this is why it's so big, is you have to track every possibility, which kind of sucks, but if you have a computer, uh, if you write a program to generate it for you, it's not too bad. So we're gonna go and check out loot tables, get time. Uh, so we basically wanna pass this MBT onto a loot table. The loot table is gonna do all the checking for us, which is a lot faster than commands. Um, and so yeah, so we basically put an armor stand here and the armor stand holds anything, a stick. And we copy the MBT from last output onto a custom spot on stick. And then we use a loot table to say, well, if we see uh, all that extra text plus 0, 0, 0, 001, uh, 2, 3, if we see this plus all the extra text, then give uh, the, the loot table will drop a piece of stone that has time 0, 1, 2, 3, just like that. So it basically just has that, but for every single combination, and that's 86,400 combinations or 84,600, I get that mixed up. Um, so that's a hell of a lot of combinations. And the loot table gets stored onto the armor stand's right, left hand. So it uses the tool in the right hand to put something in the tool on the left hand, and then we just read from the left hand and put the numbers from the MBT onto the scoreboard using execute store. And I just wanna show you guys really quickly what this thing looks like. So I'll bring you back when it's loaded. Okay, so it loaded up, it took forever, but um, I basically added no enters or space keys so that it could be as small as possible, 32 megabytes. And um, I actually took inspiration of this off of another data pack that did it the same thing by Redcoal. 
Um, and it had a similar implementation, except it used a chest and a loot table from the chest. I would rather have a custom loot table so I don't overwrite any default loot tables and break somebody else's data pack. So this thing is very compatible. Um, and we basically have, uh, it rolls, it checks, it does a dynamic contents check. It checks the entity that mined this is main hand. And if the main hand has an MBT of time with all this extra text stuff and 0000, then it drops a stone with the functions of set the MBT of that stone to time 000 and repeat that thing 86,000 times. Uh, so yeah, that's all I really wanted to show. Um, and all of that makes this thing work. So if you thought that was useful and uh, you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe, leave a like. Let me know what you want to see next. And uh, I got a lot of things planned coming up this week. So uh, get ready for that. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>